Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Jordan here again bringing you another video and today I've got two new keyboards to show you. Now I'll have to go off camera to show them because they're set up in a way that they can't go near the camera. So my apologies. Um, let me make sure I've got some lighting on here and I'll show you the two new keyboards they've got. Just move them away of all the other ones. And that's if I can find the sort the light to make sure it's actually on. So bear with me. Oh, we're, we're, we're good. Okay then, let's get on to the, to the first new keyboard that I got. This here is the Yamaha DJX2. It isn't really a keyboard, except it's a groove box. Unfortunately, you can't see it because they're set up in a way that they can't go near the camera. But with this keyboard, as soon as you turn it on, it's in like pattern mode, so you can arrange with different patterns. <laughs> And do scratch effects too. You can even change the tempo. And you can pick between different patterns. Each pattern has different variations. There's 10 of those. And you can add loops and one shots using these using these keys here. So as you can see, I've just added loops and one shots. You can remove bits off the rhythms and put it back on again. Very nice. But what if you want to use it as a normal keyboard? Uh, you simply have to press, well it's in pattern mode at the moment, and what you want to do there we go, it's in normal keyboard mode now so we'll just stop the pattern so you've got some sounds here, let me turn it up but if you want to change it to something like, there we go, piano. The keys aren't touch sensitive, by the way. Especially with the type of keyboard this is. But there's some good sounds there. like a normal keyboard or you can use it for, for its primary function which is the, the DJ features because this keyboard was uh, designed to be a groove box anyway moving on to the next to the other keyboard that I got which I've got over here this let me just switch it on and off again it's the Yamaha PSR 295 I believe this probably came out around about 2004 or something, but it definitely came out before any of the PSR E series did. And uh, it's got the piano sound that you come to know from Yamaha. The keys feel nice, there's some pretty good sounds on here. Got a dial a wheel here. Let me just select some sounds. The speakers on this thing are amazing. Bass, let me turn that up. Um, pick a different sound. You get the sweet and cool voices as well. 
You don't get a pitch bend like you do on the E four XX models. You get a you you do get a um you get something like a pit you get you don't get control knobs either. Um <laughs> But it's a pretty nice keyboard for what it is. There's nothing too special about it. It's your basic box standard Yamaha. And you get 30 preloaded demos. Let's pick one at random. I will eventually show off all the demo songs on this keyboard once I've got everything all set up. There's all my other keyboards here, the PSR E41, I mean E463, there's the PSR200, PSR260, there's the, the Rock Jam RJ761, next to that is the PSR220. Caps lock on. Oops. Caps lock. And there's my PSR8000. I have a few other keyboards as well, but they're all covered. And I've also got the PSR E413. All right, I'm back on camera. All right, then. That is my, uh, those are the new keyboards I've got. Let me know in the comments what you think of those new keyboards. I'm sorry you weren't able to see them because the way they were set up. And I had to go off camera to show them anyway. And it's looking like if I want to show the demo songs of the, of the 295, I'll have to go off camera for that until I can get some shelves and have all my keyboards on display. So I'm pretty stocked up on keyboards now. So I've decided I'm not going to get any more until I at least part ways with one I don't really need. And I don't really need the PSR E413 anymore. And given that I've already got the E463. Still, pretty nice keyboards. Um, the DJX2 was released in 2000, two years after the original DJX. And... Judging by my experience with the original DJX, I like them both. They're pretty good keyboards for what they are. Um, they're not bad either. They're probably the nicest keyboards of. Um, they're, they're probably the nicest keyboards I've seen up to now, especially the two nine five, and the PSR two nine five. I don't really know much about it. Well, at the at the start, there aren't that many videos on YouTube of the PSR two nine five. But we do know that it was the last Portatone PSR before they moved to the PSR E series in 2005 with the release of the E203 and the E303. And then in 2006, they released the E403. So my guess is that the PSR 295 came out in 2004. So I want to know what your opinion is. So let me know in the comments what you think of these new keyboards and how you've heard them. Microphone. So this is Jordan signing off saying have a good day everyone.